All right, let's take a look at the Bibinator app. Interesting name on the main screen here of the web apps. This is, let's say this is a, an, an iPhone, for example. Um, and we have up the main screen of the race tab web apps. It just says bib numbers. And internally, we call this Bibinator. Uh, I like that name. And basically what Bibinator is, is, is uh, allows you at the finish line with a phone or whatever device you have, um, to be able to key in the bib numbers as they cross, as they maybe come through the back of the chute. So you've got all the runners in the chute and somebody's at the back of the chute typing in the bib numbers as they cross the line. So what we want to do is do a new session and then we choose uh, what event it is. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to start keying in the numbers. So we do 25, enter, 32, enter, 1, 2, enter, 42. You get the idea, just kind of key in uh key in whatever people we have and then when we're done um, and if we screw up we can click delete last and it deleted that last one that we did and we can correct that and we're done um, if you see over here it says uh, it'll pop up and say you want to save this as a session we can give this a name and then we have it so what we have now is uh, we can uh, do a number of things we can view this and here's the list of bib numbers that we entered. Um, we can, you can email it if we wanted to. Um, we could save it to a file. We could delete it, or we could send it to Race Tab. So I'm going to send it to Race Tab. You can see this message says sent. And so now over in Race Tab, I'm going to have a copy of this session with all these bib numbers that I can then enter um, or import into the event and uh, it'll match up with hopefully with all the times that we have collected from whatever the timekeeper was and then all of a sudden everything's done um, so basically this is an alternative um, to a spindle my recommendation was would be to still do the tear off tags and put them on a spindle um, as as your kind of your your backup in case something gets screwed up here but this could be uh, this could be the primary, or you could do it in reverse. You could you could use the spindle as the primary, but use this as a backup in case you know the spindles get dropped or switched around or whatever. You can go back to this and, and kind of get an indication of how it really was. You know, a lot of people at the, at the back of the chute will have just a, a sheet of notebook paper, and they basically do the same thing. They write down these bib numbers and use that as a backup. Well, do it this way, and uh, and then and then you have a digital backup you can really really easily import so we go back to our list here here's the session that we saved so um, you know we can pull this up later so when we pull this this back up you can either do a new session or we can browse browse previous and pull up that previous list so it is saved on your phone and saved in race tab uh, if you sent it to race tab uh, for your later use hopefully uh, you think this is cool i thought it was a good idea when i made it pat on the back